I know I said I wouldn't be late anymore, but um, I'm late. I'm late again. All right, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Recap by Chirpin DMV. I might put my sunglasses on because the sun is blinding me. No, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to men in black this. Welcome to Recaps. Uh, this is episode, special episode 10 and 11 because I'm so late. I'm just going to, I'm just going to give myself a heavier editing load because I've just been a complete muppet with these. So I'm going to talk about the recent series with the Devils and the recent series with the Bruins. Now I'm going to be honest, I'm going to glance over the Devil series because everyone wants to talk about the Bruins series, myself included. So let's just buzz through that one. Game one. Hathaway scores on a nice pass from Schultz early in the game. Those two kept clicking along. Love to see it. Then a little later on, Dilly Dilly. This guy, we were in our, I was in his DMs. He was responding. Not a big deal. He looks like he scores, but the goal goes to Sprong. Anyways, he throws it on net. Caps go up 2-0 pretty early. Vtex working his ground. Then Eller, Sherry, and Ovi going a 3-on-0. Ovi never touches the puck once, which is insane. But Eller, the Tiger, he rips it in. 3-0 Capitals. Let's go. Devils are so good, so this is sick. Then, Capitals take a penalty near the end of the first. Devils score almost immediately. Bounce off the back of the boards, comes in front. They bury, 3-1. Then, early in the second, Pavel Zaka rips it. It's 3-2. What the hell's going on? Then, Hathaway's kind of stirring the pot with Nico Heischer, and Dilly just flicks his helmet. I thought it was hilarious. No one ever talked about it, but he just gave him a flick of the helmet. It was so jokes. There's also this weird point where the Capitals go on the power play. Kulikov blocks a shot with his foot and they blow the play dead. I don't know what that was about. I wasn't paying the most attention. I actually missed the third period of this game, but I watched the highlights, but that was weird. Anyways, not much happens in the third, but Carlson flicks the puck up for Vrana. He obviously buzzes in. He rips it five holes. Sick goal. This guy's a sniper. And then Dowd puts away the empty netter for a 4-2 win. Vanacek stands on his head for the rest of the game. Let's get into game two. Game two, Samsonov was finally in net after missing like a month of action. Capitals are dominating and then Samsonov lets in a muffin from the outside. It's like on the outside of the hash marks on the wall. Not a good shot, not a good goal. Not one that I'm sure he's proud that he let in. But then Vrana throws a puck on net, works around some bodies and puts in his own rebound. Five hole again, this guy just keeps buzzing. Second five hole goal in two games and this one was on his birthday, so happy goddamn birthday. Ovetkin had five shots in the first period. This guy was sick of not scoring and just ripped every single puck on net. And then who else but Nick Backstrom. He gets a two on one with Tommy Wilson from Toronto, Ontario. We'll talk about him later. And he buries it. This guy keeps rolling. He's on an absolute tear this season. Then the Devils respond very shortly after, of course. And it's another shot that Sammy probably would have liked to have back. But the guy hasn't played NHL hockey in a while. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt this game. Then after each team exchanges some penalties, Dilly gets in a fight with Bastion. I'd say he got the better of him, but maybe that's just because he's my best friend. I don't know. I'm biased. And finally, Ovechkin buries. It's just classic Ovi. He gets a puck in his feet, just kicks it around a little bit, moves it to his stick, and rips it from wherever he's standing. I think he was at like the top of the circles just rips it complete snipe of course because it's Ovi and uh, this guy finally scored after having about a million shots on net and the Caps will just hold on to this one for the win Ovi gets the game winner um, my only thing to note here was Sammy did not look the best in net he didn't get any starts in Boston so I think Laviolette noticed that I think once he gets some more games under his belt he'll feel a bit more comfortable but that was a pretty shaky start Anyways, here we go, the Boston series. This one came out of left field. This felt like a complete playoff series, and right now, if the playoffs started today, these two teams would be playing each other, and I would be all here for it. Let's get into it. Game one. So it's obviously Big Z. This, there's a lot of milestones here. It's Big Z's return to Boston, which could have been way more emotional if there were fans in the stands. Could have been something special. Whatever. I'm sure he doesn't mind. He's a pretty humble guy. But also, we got Kuznetsov back. And also, it's Schultz's 500th game. Vitek's making his 18th start of the season. And this game marked Laviolette's 650th win as a coach. There's some numbers for you. Anyways, let's get into the game. So early on, Nick Dowd crunches Marchand first shift. Love to see that. Kuznetsov tries a little skill play, banking it off the back of Rask. Doesn't go in, but I like that try. Capitals get a power play on an interference call on Charlie McAvoy. Ovi makes a sick pass over to Wilson, but Rask was there. Rask was there all game. This guy played lights out. Eller gets a two-on-one with Oshi, unfortunately they can't bury good d play by boston and then pasta who is good gets a clean b way best chance for the bruins all game he hits the pipe goes back and hits vanacek and then comes back and hits the pipe again thank god that guy is so good 
I know I'm just pumping Bruins tires right now, but they're a good hockey team. Got to give it to them. It's Pasternak, for God's sakes. Just saying cover that guy, maybe. Eight minutes in, it's been hashtag all caps. They're just buzzing. You like that hand motion? That's a hashtag. Eight minutes in, they have like five to nothing in shots. They're just completely dismantling the Bruins. Big Z gets the hero's welcome, but there's no fans there, so that's kind of tough. Then the Caps keep dominating. Carlson flips it in. Oshi collects it over to Panic, who puts it back to Oshi, who taps it in. Sick garbage goal, but they're calling this one back for offside. Now, how the hell did they see that this was offside? Like, the puck just completely blends in with the stands. Like, what angle are they not showing us where this is clearly indisputably offside? Because I didn't see it. Even Boston fans like Pete Blackburn didn't see it. Whatever, they call the goal back. Kind of a joke, but I mean, whatever. Then a good shift by the Capitals after get some power play, but then Ovi takes this really weird interference call where he like clearly didn't mean to bump into the guy but he gets the call anyway so it's four on four someone everyone's been shitting on all year is Dmitry orlov and he hasn't played his best but i just want to say that especially in this first period i thought this guy looked pretty good he was stepping up and breaking up a lot of plays entering the zone well getting keeping pucks in i just thought he looked really good then there's a scrum at the end of the first period after this crazy shift where like someone threw a big hit against the bruins Two guys hit Haglund, then McAvoy dumped Hathaway, so there was a big scrum. That will not be the end of this. Capitals start off the second with a penalty, but they kill it off. And then Frederick lays out uh, Wilson with a pretty clean hit, but I I didn't think that would be the end of it at the time, and now I know it was most certainly not. Caps aren't playing bad, but they can't get a shot. I think there was a point in this game where they didn't have a clean shot on net for like 20 minutes, but they weren't playing that bad. It's not like the Bruins were dominating them, but the Bruins definitely had a better second period. Then Dowd tosses Frederick down in front of the net. Love to see that get him out of there this guy's just looking to cause trouble frederick did not like that at all dow didn't really care too much caps dominate the final few minutes of the period almost get a nice goal but bergeron's there that guy's pretty good defensively i've heard so they go into the third zero zero the third period's where all the action starts so early on Bruins score very early into the period. Marchand passes it over to Pasternak. Vanacek's caught sliding over and it goes five hole. Bruins are up one nothing. But then Frederick kind of dumps Ovi, just gives him a little subtle cross check. It wasn't really a cross check, but kind of. And he falls near the boards. Ovi gets up. He naturally doesn't like it, so he's shoving him. Frederick whips off his gloves and wants to go. And Ovi just kind of looks at him like, who are you? Like, get off me. And who can blame him? I don't. I barely know who Trent Frederick is. Obviously, I'm a nobody, but I barely know who Trent Frederick is. So Ovi just looks pissed first of all this guy looks mad and he's just saying like get off me i don't know who you are i'm trying to catch wayne gretzky like what are you doing and then like immediately after dilly took a run at anders bjork like just took a run at him just missed him but that guy could have been dead if he connected then oshi unreal keeps a puck in with one hand makes a gross saucer pass puck gets on net and the tiger berries i feel like this guy's scoring a lot lately just a garbage rebound goal but that's all you're gonna get past rask he played again like i said lights out so those are the goals you gotta score then ovi gets a good look but kuznetsov's kind of in front of him so he can't shoot it high gets a good shot on net but there's not much he can do then ovi surrounded by like four guys and he goes between his legs like this guy has a titanium nut sack and he almost scores too which is the craziest part it's not like anyone even stopped him except rask and Fred Frederick again, man. This guy just won't leave Ovi alone. Cross checks Ovi a couple times. Ovi's sick of it. Big controversy. He just, whoa, I hit my car keys there. Just sticks him right in the loins. Like, there's a lot of ways to look at this. I don't love that that's what Ovi chose to do to respond, but it did shut Frederick up. It definitely shut him up. They got matching minors, so it's not like he took the penalty. Like, Frederick's plan didn't really work because they both went to the box for the same amount of time. I would have liked it if he just gave him some shoves because I think a cross check from Ovi could put you in the ground, not just Frederick, anybody. At the same time, like being an Ovi fan, I kind of love it because he just, he's like, I'm sick of this. And he just shut him up right away. Obviously, I think if it was Novechkin, we'd be looking at some suspensions, but uh, since it's Ovi, they just gave him a fine. And since Frederick was all over him all night, I think the league's like, whatever, just give this guy a fine of five grand, which is literally the pocket change I have right here in my car to OV because this guy's just made millions of dollars in his career hundreds of millions so we're going four on four Oshi and Carlson get a good chance broken up by the D Orlov and Wilson get a really good chance that one doesn't go either DeBrusque gets a good look but VTech makes a really nice save on him then Kuznetsov collects his puck just in an insane manner he like taps it behind his body forward and then jumps over the puck and carries it on side which was bananas then he sauces it over to verona who just can't score then ovi just walks in takes a big old clapper i don't know if it hit rask or not but it hit the glass pretty loud this guy had like a million scoring chances and just couldn't bury overtime is again hashtag all caps 
They're just kind of running their show, but Tuka Rask is good here. Pass goes over to Orlov. He has a wide open net. Granted, he doesn't take the best shot, but still Rask is sliding across, making the big save. Carlson loses a stick in the corner. Him and Ovi just come barreling through to clear the front of the net, which you love to see. But no one can score in overtime, so this one's going to a shootout. And in the shootout, the only one who can score is Jacob Vrana. This guy puts on a nice move. We all remember what he did to Rask last year or two years ago. A little Datsuk move. This time he goes back in forehand. He's the only one that can score. VTech makes big saves on some big players. Capitals take this one 2-1. to one. Big Z wins in his return to Boston. Laviolette gets his 650th win as a head coach. Those numbers are no joke, so you love to see that. And this was probably the Capitals' best game of the season. They really played unreal defensively against a gross team in Boston. But what we really want to talk about is Game 2. So, Jesus... Here we go. Early in the game, Eller gets two good looks at the net but can't score. And then not too long after, Bergeron, little one-handed path through traffic. Marchand puts on a nice move. He scores 1-0. You know what? I'm just going to stop there. We're not going to talk about the goals in this game. The Capitals got lit up. They didn't play very well. Their heads were somewhere else. So let's just talk about it. Wilson's hit on Brandon Carlo. Earlier in the shift, Wilson was trying to run Frederick a couple times. And he did. Like, he got a piece of him. Nothing was coming of it. And then Carlo's kind of holding the puck in his own corner. Wilson just obliterates this guy like he just comes from an awkward angle and explodes him carlo goes down holding his head the second i saw it i knew wilson was getting suspended my opinion on the hit watching it um it's not wilson's worst hit by any means which like doesn't make it good but it's definitely not his worst he definitely made contact with the shoulder first but the follow-through goes a little high to the head. Carlos' head hits the glass pretty hard. He left in an ambulance, apparently, but he's home now, which is good. So, um, there's a guy there with the dog again. You can see him right there. Cool. Wait for that. But, yeah, I genuinely don't know what to make of this hit. Like, I knew Wilson was getting sussied when I saw it because mainly because it's tom wilson but uh i don't know i've heard different opinions from different people obviously i've heard had some friends just call him a scumbag mutant but i've had other friends say that that hits clean like no one's gonna like this answer but i genuinely don't know what to say about it like he makes contact with the shoulder first so it's not a headshot thing but he's getting tried for boarding and I heard that he would be the first player to ever get suspended for boarding without hitting someone from behind. And at that point, I feel like it's just because his name is Tom Wilson. And I'm not trying to be the biased guy defending Tom Wilson. The hit wasn't great. Like, it was definitely not a great hit. He should have at least gotten a penalty. He didn't get a penalty on the play, which was crazy. He definitely should have at least gotten a penalty for boarding. But I, I honestly don't know what to make of it. It's a, it's, a, it's a hard hit is what it is. So he has an in-person hearing, which means that it's upwards of five games. Even though I don't think they can take into account his previous suspensions because I think they're past that point of him being a repeat offender. I guess we'll see what happens, but we'll probably be without Tommy Wilson from Toronto, Ontario for five plus games, which sucks. But that was certainly not the end of it. Wilson goes Jared to Nordy after pretty spirited fight. Tenorti actually put up a good fight. I'm not even sure who won that one, but it was just a good fight. That obviously wasn't the end of it. Off another face off later on. Wilson's getting talked to by Frederick and Tenorti. Just kind of looking back and forth like which one am I going? Tenorti eventually leaves, so he goes Frederick. Frederick kind of got worked over here in this one Wilson gave him like six just like jersey jabs and this guy was like busted open that one was Wilson's fight for sure Jack Edwards let's talk about Jack Edwards for a second this guy's a complete joke just an absolute laugh track of an announcer this guy sucks so bad like I get he's a Boston fan why wouldn't he be he che he's the announcer for the Bruins it's like I'm assuming Joe B and Locker are Capitals fans this guy's yelling because Wilson's in the box when the Bruins score three he's just yelling at Tom Wilson like this guy is just attacking himself to Tom Wilson being in the box. I would hate to see the inside of this guy's pants after the game. This guy was loving every second of it. He's a complete freak show. He's easy the worst announcer in hockey, like not even close. And I don't hate Boston like at all. Even after this, I don't hate Boston. Jack Edwards is a complete joke. That guy needs to retire or get fired or something. Like he is so useless in the booth. They're talking about kicking Tom Wilson out of the game like an hour after the hit because in the Carolina Columbus game, they took that penalty off the board. They tried to compare those two, which is just so which is just so not the same at all. Jack Edwards and his buddy, who has one of the worst accents I've ever heard, those guys were just going off about it. Like, you guys are such jokes, it's insane. Like, this guy's yelling about Tom Wilson watching every goal from the penalty bench. Who calls it a penalty bench, buddy? Like, have you ever watched a hockey game or heard anyone else call a game except for you? Like, what is a penalty bench? Anyways, yeah, Edwards is a complete clown show. Just give him the makeup. He's a complete joke. Uh, Bruins smoked the Capitals in this one, like 5-1. Their heads weren't really in it after that. I'm not even going to say that their heads weren't in it, just... 
there was a lot going on in that game and they couldn't keep up. Bruins played a good game. They were kind of all over them. It's not like they scored any really bad goals, except for, I'll say, Nick Ritchie. John Carlson's got to have that guy. That pass from Grizzly to Martian, yes, Dylan should have been there. That's a sick pass. Even the Trent Frederick goal, even though like I'm not a huge Frederick guy, obviously, that's a pretty sick deflection in. You got to give credit where it's due. So these teams can score nice goals. Also, we had uh, Martian going at it, obviously. He gave Nick Jensen a shot, and Chara tried to get at him. Kind of wish Chara got at him. This guy could choke slam him through the surface of the earth if he got a hold of him. Anyways, yeah, what I took away from the game, things of note here. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the hit, the Tom Wilson hit. It was definitely on the line like Tom Wilson likes to be. I'm not sure if it's suspension worthy if his name isn't Tom Wilson though and I'm not even trying to be biased there. I'm trying to be very unbiased. I'm just not positive it is. I've had other people say that that aren't Capitals fans. Uh, Jack Edwards is a travesty to hockey. Like you can say Tom Wilson is because he's throwing hits. Jack Edwards man that guy is I've said enough about him but he is Oh my god. Another thing that I've taken away is that Jack Edwards is just a miserable excuse of an announcer. Like, literally so bad at his job, so biased, it's insane. The fact that this guy's yelling at players, like, I'm pretty sure he can't skate. And if he can, I'm sure he's terrible at it. Because he's terrible at this job that he has now. Oh yeah, we also had that Boston Globe reporter saying that the Bruins should headhunt maybe Eller Vrana. You're a joke also. Like, you're such a loser. Like, who are you to say that they should be running people because Wilson ran someone and that's a problem? Like, your argument is completely collapsing on itself. Calling Wilson dirty when you're telling guys to headhunt Eller and Vrana. How do you have a job at the Globe? You're such a pathetic loser. Like, shut up, man. Anyway, something else I want to take away from this. I don't hate Boston. I actually like Boston as a team. They're a gritty team. They're like Washington. Like, they're gritty. They're physical. I like that. These games were intense. They were like playoff games. Uh, I don't hate the Bruins. I just, obviously, in this game, I was team caps because I'm a Capitals fan. And uh, Jack Edwards is a complete scumbag loser. And uh, Marshan plays his dirty game. He wasn't that bad. Like, he plays his dirty game. Wilson plays his game. You can't hate the Bruins. It's just a good game. It was a good, it was a physical game. Wilson obviously caught the attention of the Bruins. And he, people saying he didn't own up to it. How is two fights not owning up to it? Like, come on. What else does he have to do? <laughs> like, Anyways, that'll be it for this one. Sorry I'm late again when I just said I wouldn't be late. But I hope this little double episode helps. Um... I'll be back for the Capitals next series. I don't even know who it's against. I was so focused on what's going on with this Bruins-Capitals rivalry that's brewing. Bruin. That's funny. Um, Jack Edwards, you're a joke. Globe reporter whose name I don't remember. Kevin something. Quit your job and go away because you suck. And uh, this has been it for recaps. Hopefully Tom Wilson doesn't get sussied, but he's getting sussied. So we'll see how many games that is. I'll talk about it next time. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know. I'm just thinking about Jack Edwards. This guy pisses me off. Peace. Thanks for watching.